Captain Matt, what's going on, Matty? How you doing today, brother? There's another citation taking off here, runway 23 at Toronto. Blasting off. He's got the tail number, November 2 Romeo Foxtrot. I wonder if that is the Citation Max on YouTube. <laughs> what are you wearing right now, Captain Matt? Don't tell me it's your birthday suit. Alright, we'll wait like two minutes and then we'll get started. Captain Matt. You gotta take pictures, man. Pictures or it didn't happen. Yo, yo, Brayden, what's going on, man? <laughs> Longish Hall? Yeah, about two hours down to Jacksonville. Flying out of Canada. Which procedure is a little bit different, not by much, but you'll see when we grab our clearance and such. It, they they use some slight different terminology. Overall, pretty much the same though. <coughs> Captain Matt says, "Do I have Discord? I do have Discord. I do have an account, and I do have a server as well that I'm hardly ever on, to be honest with you." Um, you can check in the description down below. I might have my Discord on there. Pretty sure I do. Alright, one more minute here and then we'll start this briefing. Braden asks, are you on VATSIM? Yes, sir, we are on VATSIM. And I think Toronto, let's see, we've got CYYZ Approach is on, and Toronto Center is on. So we will have ATC getting out of here. I'm not sure about the rest of the way. Hopefully Jacksonville Center jumps on at some point, maybe Atlanta Center. Those guys are on a lot. Livery looks fresh. Yes, I like this one a lot, man. Super sexy. Yeah, man. Alright, let's start briefing this. We're going to be back in the Citation CJ4 today. New airplane, though. We're not in 6-9 Romeo Charlie. We're going to be in November 8-4 Golf Charlie, which is this sexy gray and blue livery. Here's a look at our route on Simbrief. So we're doing CYYZ down to Jax. We've got Tampa as our alternate. We'll be cruising at flight level 430, 43,000 feet. Airtime should be about two hours and 10 minutes. Here's our route. We'll be doing the, uh, I guess it's Beats 2, IRA transition out of Toronto. Then it's filed. 
And this is what the route looks like, pretty much straight down south into Jacksonville. We've got some charts available. Here's our ground chart for Toronto. We're parked over out in this way. We can probably expect runway 2-3 and we'll be taxing out on Juliet most likely. And then as for the departure, here's the Beats 2 departure. So all runways maintain 5,000. We'll likely get runway 2-3, so we'll depart runway 2-3, climb heading 237, which is runway heading up to 1,100. Then climbing right turn to 245, or as assigned and then radar vectors to Murno, and then as file. So here's runway 23. We'll be climbing runway heading to 1100. These charts look a little bit different from the ones in the US. Then right turn 245, and then eventually they'll give us vectors over here to Murno. We've got to Murno, then to Oakville. And then from Oakville to Beats to looks like Samuel, and then Ira, and then the rest of our flight plan route. Alright, let's do this. Let's jump in the airplane. Let's kill the music for now. I'm not sure how accurate this weather is. This is real weather. FS 2020, but half the time it's it's way off, so we'll see. All right, let's turn on the battery. Emergency lights are armed. Standby instruments are coming on, and avionics to dispatch mode. We'll jump down here to our FMS and put on our GPS position. Clear the master caution, and now we'll get our lights on. We'll get our beacon, our nav light on, and we can go ahead and start up engine number two. All right, N2, N1. Ignition. And ITT. <laughs> Can you send me the picture, Captain Matt? Oh boy. Looks nice, real world weather and time. Um, real world weather, yes, time. I have it set a couple hours back because I don't feel like flying at night. We could do real time. When I get back in the VATSIM, I'll be sure to fly around with you one day for sure, Braden. Looking forward to it, man. Anytime. Oh gosh, Captain Matt. Make sure it's not <laughs> anything R-rated. All right, engine number two stable. Uh, we can go ahead and start up the other one as well. Let's do it. Left engine. And two. And one. Ignition. And ITT. Sunset into Jacksonville, maybe? Let's see what time I have it set to. Should be about two hours there to Jacksonville, so... I have it set to 4 p.m. right now, so if we get there 6 p.m. Here, we could set it back a little bit. What time is it? 6, 7, 8... We could probably get away with doing real time. 
not sure it'd be cutting it kind of close. I think it's going to be dark. All right, let's do real time. Real time, we're real world weather. Let's see if we get there in time. All right, two good engines. Avionics are coming on and climate control to norm. Let's go down here and load in our flight plan. Straight off a of sim brief. It's going to be the Beats 2. IRA transition. We can expect 2 3. We'll execute that. Back to the arrival. Jacksonville. We're going to be doing the. Is it the Looney? Looney 1. Ascent transition. Let's see weather down there in Jacksonville right now. They're reporting wind 070 at 1 2, 10 statue mile visibility, few clouds 3,000 broken, 10,000 broken, 25,000, temperature 23, 2.19, altimeter 3019. So winds are from the east 070 at 1 2. Zero seven zero. So maybe ILS zero eight. We'll leave that open. We'll see what they give us if uh, ATC is online when we get closer. For now, we'll just leave it like this. The Looney one ascent transition. Let's execute it. Go back to our legs page. Just look at it real quick and make sure everything looks okay. So we'll be departing out of here on vectors and direct Murno. All of that looks good. Oakful, Beats, Samuel, Ira. We've got two Iras in there, so we can get rid of one of those. And the rest looks okay. We can also go through it here. On our MFD, we'll go to plan mode. To Murno. And down. Make sure there's nothing funky going on here. All right, that looks good. We'll go back to PPOS mode. Let's pick up the weather. So we want the weather for CYYZ as well as Jacksonville. Send that request, and we're waiting for the received message. <laughs> Captain Matt. Yeah, if it's too dark when we get there, Braden, we can always move it back if we want to. All right, received, so we'll go back, view. Here's the weather for CYYZ write down some of these numbers here. Winds are 190015, gusting 26. Fifteen statue mile visibility, few clouds, twenty-two thousand, broken twenty-five thousand, temperature two zero, dew point minus one, altimeter two nine eight three. It's got the TAF for uh, weather coming up later. We don't need that. Let's go back and let's take a look at Jacksonville as well. I already read this out to you. Wind 07012, 10 statue miles, few clouds, 3,000 broken, 10,000 broken, 25,000. Temperature 23, dew point 19, or altimeter 3017. All right, so let's go to our perf page. Flight level 430, five passengers on board, 160 pounds of bags 
takeoff wind here 19015 in Toronto OAT is 20 degrees Celsius and 29er 83 on the altimeter go to the next page here's our V speeds all that as is V1 102 VR 103 and V2 116 so rotating at 103 hit the send button which will send the information over to our PFD you'll see it load up right over here Braden says he's got his wing view seat on the plane lol where's the flight attendant <laughs> All right, so that's all set. I think we're all good. FMS should be all ready to go. Now we can run through a couple checklists before we pick up our clearance. All right, this is a uh, before start. We already did this. Battery on, emergency lights arm, standby flight instruments are on, avionics to dispatch, parking brake is set, wheel chocks removed, cabin doors closed. Passenger briefing, let's do that. Seat belts adjusted, secured, exterior lights are okay for now. ICAST checked, FMS checked and set, climate control is on. Starting engines, we did all this, this is all good. Alright, before taxi, avionics is on, climate control is normal, pass lights, safeties. I'll get our pack signs on after the briefing. If not, I'll cut the briefing short. Trim. We'll set it here in the green. Flight controls. We'll test those. See, I don't think there's rain right now in Toronto, so I don't know where Flight Sim 2020 is picking up their weather. Alright, flight controls. Aileron. Elevator, rudder, flaps, are working and then we'll set those to 15 for takeoff and our speed brakes are working. All right, trim set, flap set, flight controls were checked. Hydraulic pressure. We've got it. Anti-ice is good for now. Takeoff date has been confirmed and set. Avionics checked and set. Autopilot. Altimeters. Let's set these. Two niner eight three. So 2983 here, over here, over here on the little one as well, 2983, and on the right side, it's set. Pressurization is good, ICAST check, after divider doors latch open. Alright, we're all set. Let's pick up the ATIS and then grab our clearance. <coughs> yeah, should it be raining in Toronto, Braden says. Yeah, no, uh, FS2020 live weather is buggy, man. I think the information is like several hours old a lot of the times. We'll just use it for now, I guess. Captain Matt says tomorrow's first flight on the sim. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Hope it goes well. Braden says he needs a pre-departure beverage. What's for dinner today? We've got the fridge stocked up. All kinds of snacks and drinks. Feel free to help yourself, Braden. 
tubes attached to the vest. For information on the location and use of fire extinguishers. Alrighty, um, ADIS is going to be on 120825. Refer to your passenger briefing card or consult your flight. 120.825. If it works, are they still online? Let's see. I am showing it 120825. Did I plug that in right? 120825, it is. Weather and 220 is special. Weather 200 and 15 gust 26. Visibility 15. Two clouds at 22,000. Ceiling 25,000 broken. Temperature 20. 2.1. Minus one. Altimeter 2983. The approach is ILS runway 24 right. Departure runway 24 right. Runway surface condition. All runways 100% fair and dry. <laughs> Brake advisory. Aircraft requiring an engine clearing procedure prior to departure must inform... Says all runways are dry, but it's raining here in the simulator. Inform ATC that you have information, Papa. Alright, information, Papa. Let's give it a listen Toronto one more time. International information pop up. Weather at 2200 Zulu special. Wind 200 at 15 gust 26. Visibility 15. Few clouds at 22,000. Ceiling 25,000 broken. Temperature 20. 2.1. Altimeter 2983. The approach is ILS runway 24 right. All right, we have Papa. Let's go over to, I think, Approach is online. He's on 132.8. Let's pick up our clearance from him. Brake advisory. Aircraft requiring an engine clearing procedure prior to departure must... Okay, JetBlue 1030... Okay, JetBlue 1032 identified. I uh, can proceed, or it'll be the ILS 24 right, altimeter 29 or 83, information Oscar. Proceed direct to Mayrod. Direct to Mayrod, expect 24 right. I'm going to request our clearance just as I do in the U.S. I'm not sure if that's right for Canada. We'll see what he says. Gravity 2006 is ready to taxi. Gravity 2406, uh, runway 24 right, altimeter 29 or 83, taxi Echo Bravo, Echo Delta, cross runway 33 right. Uh, 24 right and use uh, altimeter 29 or 83 via only Echo Bravo, Echo Delta, cross 33 right, gravity 206. Correct. Approach November 84, Golf Charlie. JetBlue 1032, descend 4000, level by Mayrod. Descend 4000, by Mayrod. JetBlue 1032. November 84, Golf Charlie Rattle. November 84, Golf Charlie, citation 525 at signature. Information, Papa, we're IFR to Jacksonville, Florida today. For Golf Charlie, arrival, good evening. Uh, clear to Jacksonville via the Beats 2 departure. Era transition flight planned route. Uh, depart runway 23, squawk 2231. Clear to the Jacksonville airport via the Beats 2, Ira transition, flight plan route, runway 23, squawk 2231. November 84, Golf Charlie. Number 84, Golf Charlie, read back correct. Push and start uh, your discretion. Call for taxi. We'll call for taxi. Citation 84, Golf Charlie, thanks. Alright, 23, good. We got the runway right next to us. Let's put in 237 for our initial heading. And it's going to be 5,000 feet initially. Squawk 2231. We 
will be with approach for taxi and takeoff, I'm sure. And then Toronto Center is going to be on 125.775. So let's get that in on standby. 125.775. And it's mode C here on the ground at Toronto at all times, so over to T-A-R-A. All right, taxi checklist, lights. We'll get our taxi light on, we'll get our pack signs on. United 155, wind is 200 at 15, gusting 26, clear to land, runway 24 right. All right, brakes test, nose wheel steering test. Flight instruments. Yep, should be a uh, short taxi to runway 23. Should be uh, via Juliet, I think. Turn on Red Bull, Charlie Bull, Charlie and Alpha. I call Charlie and Alpha arrival. Good evening. Good evening to you. I would like to pick up players to file. We'll call for taxi as soon as this guy gets his clearance. I'm gonna call for Charlie and the Alpha Roger, uh, Squawk 1242. Should I make the weather nicer since this is three. very inaccurate? 1242, we'll call you for taxi, Charlie and Alpha. Right. Approach November 84, Golf Charlie, ready to taxi. Okay, Charlie and the Alpha, sorry, correction, depart runway 26. Uh, uh, four Golf Charlie, uh, runway 23, altimeter 29 or 83, taxi via Juliet, cross runway 15 left. 23 via Juliet, cross 15 left, November 84, Golf Charlie. And our little Charlie Jeff, I'm ready to go. Let's pull up the ground chart real quick and let's Alpha review this. Two six altimeter two nine or eight four taxi via Charlie. We're parked Delta. out over this way, oh, so it's going to be left turn on Charlie. Juliet. We've been cleared across one five left and to runway two three. All right, let's release the brakes. Good views and stuff, yeah, I agree. Braden, I'm going to change that right now. Let's test our brakes. Brakes are good. Let's clear up this weather. Let's hope we can get through this entire flight, unlike last flight to uh, okay, Charlie and the Alpha. Salt uh, Lake. Left-hand circuits. Wind two zero zero at seven knots. Clear for takeoff. Runway two six. Two six clear for takeoff. Left-hand circuit. Charlie and Alpha. All right, nose wheel steering works. Flight instruments look good. Jeff Lieutenant 32, descend 3000. All right, we're clear left and we're clear right. Jeff Blue 1032, descend 3000. Down to 3000, Jeff Blue 1032. Gravity 2406. And we're clear right. right. We're clear left. This uh, should be taxiway Juliet. It's going to be a left turn here on Juliet, and clear the cross, 1-5 left. JetBlue 1032, crossing Mayrod, maintain your present heading. Maintain present heading. 
All right, ice protection's good for now. Rudder bias. Jet Blue 1032, fly heading 330. Left 330, Jet Blue 1032. There should be 1 5 left. We've cleared the cross. We're clear out right. Gravity Nobody coming into land. Wind 200 at 15, gusting 26, clear for takeoff, runway 24 right. 24 right, clear for takeoff, gravity 24 0 6. Alright, rudder bias checked, seat belts, flaps are set, speed brakes are down, trim set, crew briefing has been done before takeoff. We're on TARA, squawking mode C. JetBlue 1032, turn left to 270. Radar, intercept the localizer, cleared ILS 24 right approach. I guess terrain for now. Left 270, we'll do weather. Clear the 24 right approach, JetBlue 1032. Right. United 155, welcome to Toronto. We can taxi. Alright, GA Delta, button. Alpha, this button here. Tango, you see our flight director right, come alive. Alright, where's the hold line for runway 23? Charlie and Jeff, on left, John 126. Charlie, the Alpha, clear touch and go runway 26. The sign here says 24, and on the ground it says 23. Gotta love FS 2020 airport signs. Alright, let's finish the rest of this checklist really quickly. All that's been done. Battery amps are less than 20. That's good. Pedo static comes on. Exterior lights. Cross Landing lights, right. strobe lights coming on. And I guess checked. Alright, we're all good. Yeah, no problem. Quick little flow check here, just make sure everything is on. Lights are Gravity all on. Flaps, six, trim, awesome. everything's set. Awesome. Gravity 2406 identified. Uh, clear direct, mix it on course, climb 15000. Direct mission curls and climb 15000 gravity. Yeah, right. Alright, <laughs> Brady says, hold up, let me put my seatbelt on, we're all good. Catch up before we take off. Good evening, don't arrive. Always get nervous asking for clearance. Yeah, just be ready to write down everything, Braden. If you write down everything, you're all good. I like to even just write down everything ahead of time, kind of what I would expect. And then if, as he reads it out, I already have it written down. And then if it changes, you can just scratch out whatever you wrote and change it. That's what I do. But I get nervous too, man. It's normal, I think. Short taxi then, yeah, sure, good views. The weather seems correct now. Shadows look cool. Let's get one look at one last look at this plane before we blast out of here. Jet Blue 1032, the wind <coughs> is 200 at 15 gusts 26. You're clear to land, runway 24 right. Clear to land, 24 right, Jet Blue 1032. Alright, so we'll be climbing your runway heading. And for November 4th, up to Charlie, uh, fly. Sorry, yeah. Uh, for Gulf Charlie, fly runway heading, wind 200 at 15 gusting 26, clear for takeoff, runway 23. Runway heading, clear for takeoff, runway 23, November 84, Gulf Charlie. All right, are you ready to go? Runway heading. And up to 5,000. Clear left, nobody coming in the land. We're clear out right. Toronto arrival, good evening. Air Transat 1030, gates Bravo 14 with information Papa. We are ready to copy IFR clearance to Montreal. Gravity 2406 contact center 125.77. decimal seven seven good night. All right, see so you runway two three. Gravity 2406 center the pad. Transat 1030 uh, arrivals. Good evening. Uh, Rotating at 103. Three. Heels to the floor. Mikolo transition Full power. flight plan route. Uh, depart runway two four right. Squawk two 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 zero. 
And our trans at 1030 is cleared to the Montreal airports via the dead key for departure Miklo transition flight plan route. So we'll expect runway 24 right and squawk 2240. Alright, power set and achieved. Engines green, airspeed alive. Back, correct. Push and start your discretion. Call for taxi. And rotate. Push start our discretion. We'll call you ready for taxi. Air trans at 1030. Good evening. All right, positive uh, rate. Turn off the approach. Uh, can jet at 40. Here's coming up. Posting clearance for uh, Quebec Passage uh, with the formation of Papa. Nick Argent, 430 arrival. Good evening. Stand by. Uh, Charlie India Alpha. Uh, did you want to continue the circuit, sir? Were you coming to Toronto? All right, flaps up going to and to, uh, climb thrust. Set, yaw damp can come on. Okay, Charlie India Alpha Roger. Uh, right turnout's approved, and you're cleared into the Toronto control zone. Uh, runway 24 right. We can do We're flight level change and heading mode first. and engage the autopilot. And the altimeter in Toronto is 2983. 2983, Charlie Delta Tex. So runway heading up to 5,000. And November 4, Gulf Charlie identified when able to say altitude. Uh, through 3,400, November 84, Gulf Charlie. November 4, Gulf Charlie, uh, red. November 4, oh, Gulf Charlie, uh, turn left, direct Oakville on course, climb 1, 5,000. Left, direct Oakville, Oakville, and up to 1, 5,000, November 84, Gulf Charlie. All right, left, direct Charlie Oakville. Can join Left to base, runway 24 right. And up to 1,500. Okay, cargo jet 438, uh, ready for clearance now. We're ready for clearance, uh, can jet 438. Swatch that speed. Can jet uh, 438, uh, cleared to Quebec via the Verdo 6 departure. Ipto's transition flight plan route, uh, runway 24 right. Squawk 2223. Clear to Quebec Passage, you have 06 apart. Eptos uh, transition flight line move. Uh, we'll be squawking uh, 2223 uh, for uh, runway 24 right. Okay, Jeff, four, three, we got interior. Let's push and start your discretion. Call for taxi. Roger, we'll call you for taxi. Thank you. Downtown Toronto behind the clouds. Cross runway 33 right. Alright, so up to 15,000. Direct Oakville. Roger, go legs. Oakville. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Direct Oakville. Execute. And we can engage nav mode. Charlie, contact center 125, decimal 77, goodbye. 12577, November 84, Golf Charlie. Alright, over to center. 125775. Okay, 116, uh, that works, thanks. Uh, identified, flood level 370. Toronto Center, November 84, Golf Charlie, through 9300 for 15000. Citation November 84 Golf Charlie, good day, climb flight level 430. Flight level 430, November 84 Golf Charlie. Alright, straight up to our cruise altitude, flight level 430. Alright, we're through 10,000, lights can come off. Landing light, pack signs. <clears throat> Clouds look nice, says Braden. They do.
The last shot of Toronto as we blast out of here. Have any of you flown LAX to MEX? I have not, Captain Maddie. Is that Mexico City? Braden says he has an FSX. It's like three hours and twenty-two minutes. Captain Matt says, "What about yeah, Infinite Flight?" Yeah, those clouds do look pretty. Braden says, anyways, gotta go because I'm going out for dinner. Enjoy, man. Take it easy, Braden. Maple 7651, uh, good day, squad code 0552. Okay, 0552, Maple 7652. That down there is uh, Hamilton Airport. Charlie Yankee, Hotel Mike. Off our right wing. Maple 7651 identified. Uh, descend 17,000, altimeter 293. Okay, and we're in there we go, that's climb power. Uh, 17, we're set the cruise. I was wondering why we're climbing like we should. That looks more like it. 4,000 feet per minute. That's what you'd expect out of a CJ4. At 3.50 specific standard time, we'll be leaving because of a Zoom meeting. No problem, Captain Matt. Alright, let's run through some checklists. Takeoffs, we did all that. After takeoff climb, landing gear is up, flaps are up, throttles to climb, yaw damper is on autopilot as required, icing. Alright, we can start getting that on now. Pass lights are off. Pressurization is good, altimeters are set, cross checked.
simulator is running good out of Toronto, which is surprising because Toronto is pretty, pretty dense scenery area. It's funny how I get buttery smooth FPS here out of Toronto and other airports that are a lot more rural. I'll get three to five frames per second. Don't understand it. But I'm not complaining right now. Do you have two monitors, says Captain Matt? I do not. One 32-inch monitor. 32-inch curved 1440p monitor. 144 hertz. If you want to know exactly which one, I think it's down in the description. If you want to see the exact model number. It's a 30... It's actually technically, technically 31 or 31.5 inches curved... 1440p, 144 hertz. Both stands out three, nine mic, contact one Charles Center, one two eight seven seven. Confirm last call was for the Stands three, nine mic. I would like to get me a second smaller monitor just to have Delta like uh, charts and streaming goodies, apps and stuff that I can kind of keep an eye on while I'm streaming. You too, choose. It's kind of been on the on the wish list, but I also I need a new GPU before going to two monitors. Still on an old GTX 1080. So at 185, Center, Roger. If I'm having performance right. issues now, right, it's definitely going to be worse with a second right. monitor. But of course, GPUs you can't find anywhere. They're all 2, 3x MSRP. Right, which there's no way I'm going to buy anything at those prices. I'm going to have to wait it out. Crazy, I think. Uh, Pro Golf Charlie leaving airspace to the south, living center offline. Uh, surveillance services to me, look, your frequency. Frequency change approved, November 8 4, Golf Charlie, we'll see you. Yeah, RTX 3080 s right now are like three, 3,000 bucks, not even a 3090. I think 3090s are going for like four or 5,000 bucks right now. It's ridiculous. To the southwest, uh, Cleveland Center is offline. Surveillance services to me, look, your frequency. Alright, so we'll go to 122.8. Do you have a phone? <laughs> you want me to see those pictures, Matt? I do, man. Hold on. Yeah, I'm using my phone to have you guys on the chat, and then I've also got my iPad, which I'm using Garmin Pilot on for my, I guess, a uh, secondary GPS, and as well as my charts and, s and such. Oh gosh, Captain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man. Everybody else on the Discord's like, what the heck is this? So what happened? You lost a bet with your sister, Captain Matt? You're gonna make everybody quit my Discord, man. Alright, let's see if there's any more ATC on our route that's online. See if we get lucky. Let's see, that's him.
Alright, it looks like Atlanta Center is online, so we'll be talking to them in a little bit, hopefully, if they're still on. I'm sure they will be. It's only been on for 46 minutes. We'll be in their airspace in about 50 minutes. And hopefully, by the time we leave their airspace, Jacksonville Center will hopefully log on. But at least Atlanta's on, that's good news. Let's get the tunes back on. <laughs> yes, Captain Matt. You look cute. <laughs> but me saying that's highly illegal. You're cute like le like my niece. Let's make sure we phrase that correctly. So I'm getting in trouble by YouTube police. All right, we're through flight level three five zero now for flight level four three zero. Crossing over Samuel and now making a left turn to Ira. Later, Captain Matt. Thanks for dropping in, man. See you later. I'm going to remove your picture so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> Funny, though, man. Looks like there is a, a front over about Nashville area right now moving to the east northeast. We should beat all of that stuff down into Jacksonville. There's also a few showers that passed over Jacksonville about an hour, hour and a half or so ago. That's all out east. I'm also showing a couple more showers, and maybe like thunderstorms about 70 miles southwest of Jacksonville, also moving to the east-northeast. There's a chance we could run into some of that stuff during our approach. We'll see. Alright, let's try real-world weather again. Since we had to change it in Toronto since it was highly inaccurate. Let's hope we get something a little bit, whoa, a little bit better right now. That's fine. We'll leave it like that for now. Yeah, see, this is all wrong. 
Although the weather radar in FS2020 does not show precip, it's just clouds. So all this red stuff you see is not actually precip, it's clouds. Which doesn't really make sense, but... We're above all of it, so that's okay. Hopefully the weather's a little bit more accurate as we get into Jacksonville later on this evening. All right, 1,000 to go. Loving off at flight level 430. We're going to let our airspeed build up. And then we'll pull those throttles back for cruise. Cruise checklist, throttles, pressurization is good. Ice is on. Alright, reaching the bottom of the red tape here. Let's pull our throttles back to cruise power.
to about 97% N1. I think we're st still gaining a little bit. Let's bring it down to about 96. Ninety-five and a half. All right, right there seems good. All right, so we got about, let's see, an hour and 38 minutes to Jacksonville. Crossing over Ira now, left turn to Eminem.
Atlanta Center still on, no sign of Jacksonville Center yet. Hey, James Dixon, how's it going, man? How's your day going so far, James? What do the top buttons and planes do, and are they modeled? What do the top buttons in the plane do, and are they modeled? Yes, in this airplane, there's only three switches up top, and these control the cabin lighting, maybe cockpit lighting as well, like your dome light and stuff like that. Let's see. Yeah, see, this one turns on these lights. Yeah, this one doesn't have a big overhead like uh, the Airbus does. These just control dome lighting. But they do work. They are modeled. Maybe you got a, a phone up here. James Dixon said they're doing great. Thanks for asking. Thanks for videos anytime, James. Glad you enjoy them, man. Been falling in love with the CJ4.
James Dixon says, I hope MSFS does the PC-24 and the Tecdem 2006T. <laughs> I thought I heard that a Tecdem was being worked on. Was that FS-2020? This was actually several months ago, too, when they were... What do they call that? When they give like a little preview, trying to get people all excited? They might be working on one, James. Haven't heard anything about the PC-24, but maybe the Technum. I think so. Let me look it up, actually. Let's see if we can find that. If I can find it, I'll show you guys. A teaser. Yeah, I saw a teaser. That was a while back, though. Alright, so there's this one here. This was published November 26th last year. V Sky Labs Tech MP 2016 project coming soon. It doesn't s state which simula uh, simulator here, though, in this article. So I'm not sure if we go back. This is uh, Flight Simulator Forums. Somebody had posted. Does anyone know if the Tech Sierra P 2002 JF? is currently under development or already available for free mod FS2020 and then somebody responded down here no P2002 but at least there is a P2008 in development and then there's this article here which also doesn't give too much information Aviotech announces Frankfurt and teases a new project for MFS and X-Plane It doesn't go too in depth though. Next up is the Tech MP2008, which has already been announced for X-Plane 11, though now we have confirmation that it'll be making the leap over to the new simulator. Alright, so who's this Aviotech? Not much has been released since then, as far as any updates.
is the VATSIM network. Here's our plane right here. Atlanta Center's online. Jacksonville isn't on yet. Miami Center's online. Nassau Center. This is Kingston Center. Memphis Center's online. About an hour and 18 minutes to go into Jacksonville. I'm going to go use the bathroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, Sim is running good today.
Hey, Toasty, what's going on, man? How are you doing today? Welcome aboard. I'd say a little bit over a third of the way to Jacksonville. We've got about an hour and 17 minutes to go. Reminds me of Mortal Kombat. Let's get a weather update, Jacksonville, see what's going on down there. So some showers and thunderstorms about, let's see, about 50 miles to the southwest of Jacksonville right now. Looks like it's moving to the east-northeast. We might actually run into some of that stuff. Right now though, still reporting VFR down there, winds are 060 at 10. 10 statue miles visibility, few clouds, 3,000 scattered at 10,000, broken 25,000, temperature 22, 2.19 or altimeter Here's a look at VATSIM right now. Atlanta Center still online. We're getting pretty close to their airspace. Our airplane is right here. This little guy. So once we enter their airspace, we'll give Atlanta Center a call. And hopefully, by the time we get down here, Jacksonville will have hopefully signed on.
Parish Roblox, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Let's see, we may have to dial back the power just a little bit. gonna keep it there we get the overspeed warning then I'll I'll pull it back a little bit Let's start tuning into Atlanta Center. We won't give them a call just yet. We're still well outside of their airspace. We can start monitoring. Atlanta Center is going to be on 132.975. One three two point nine seven five. Going direct half. Going direct half. Five Charlie Charlie. You should be set the standard off time of 2 9 or 9 or 2. Never. Atlanta Center, Speedbird Concord 1 is with you. Uh, we're at 6,000 feet. We're just saying we're not picking up any airs. Uh, we're trying to figure out the problem. Uh, Speedbird Concord 1, they are uh, Atlanta Center Roger. Uh, you have to. Uh, do you have, so you have a gift who's maintaining altitude. So yeah, we'll give him a call once we're over altitude. Pulaski VOR, which is our next waypoint. About 46 miles. Sir, Conqueror 1, Roger. Just let me know where your intentions are for now. As so soon as we're over flight, PSK, we'll give Atlanta Center a call. Alright, we'll go 250, Speedbird Conqueror 1. Team 49, Jackson, will center close, change your advisor frequency for every day. Or a 22.8 for American 50.9 good day.
American 1985. Flight heading 270. Flight heading 270, American 1985. Atlanta Center, Sky was 1788. Uh, flight level 21.6 for flight level 270. Sky was 1788, Atlanta Center, good evening. Call me, Tanto, 270. Up to flight level 270, Sky was 1788. Atlanta Center, good evening, Sears, Blue J number 5, Mike Whiskey's out of 16, 1, Carmen, Flood, 2, 5, 0, direct shipping. Number 5, Mike Whiskey, Atlanta Center, right? Atlanta Center, United, 623, passing 11,000 with you. United, 623, Atlanta Center, good evening, you're clear, direct wallet, but maintain double 350. Alright, direct wallet, 350, United, 623. Experience 1914, Clitter at Ormond Beach, VOR, Oscar, Mike, November. Oscar, Mike, November, uh, Oscar, 1914. I'm going to say Southwest 942, with your 3,000 for 10. South 942, Atlanta Center, good evening, radar contact, Bombay 10, 14,000. I'm up to 14,000, Southwest 942. Chili at uh, Clear at Gats and VR. Second for uh, Five Charlie Show. Five Charlie Joy, Clear at Gats and VR, Golf Alpha Delta. No, Ronnie, thanks. Rick Gats and Five Charlie Joy. We're in 1985. We're uh, not going to be able to climb as we're right above stalling. Atlanta Center, uh, uh, Speedbird Concord 1, I guess we're requiring an emergency. We need, we need uh, direct back to Atlanta for 9 or left. Speedbird Concord 1, Roger, to Atlanta Airport. The uh, radar vectors turn right, heading 340, and if you're able to maintain 3000, expect vectors for the ILS, not a left approach. Alright, we'll uh, uh, see again the heading. Turn right heading 340, vector ILS not a left approach. Maintain 3000. If you're unable to maintain altitude, just advise. Alright, uh, we'll turn right 340 and we'll expect ILS for uh, Niner and left and uh, we'll try and maintain 3000 speed for Concord 1. Compilation kid, what's up? Gorgeous window view. Southwest 942 yep. cleared uh, direct. Pencil, climb maintain level 260. Good pencil, 260. It's been a pretty flight so far. We're right, about to cross into Atlanta Center's airspace. We'll give them a call here shortly. Check in with him. 235, 92, Atlanta Center, hi, Dan. Speedboat, 35 minutes. I think I just got to contact me from him. We're going to be stuck in 25,000. American 1985, Roger. Yep. If that's the case, the center maintain level 240 for direction of flight from Memphis. That'll be a problem. Let's call him. Center maintain 240 for American 1985. Atlanta Center, November 84, Golf Charlie over Pulaski, VOR, flight level 430. Great, Golf Charlie. Come from 84, Golf Charlie, Atlanta Center, I did. I did. Four golf trolley. Stuber 35, 92, reset your transponder when able to squad 2072. Alright, I have no idea where the item button is in this airplane. I'm just gonna do it through, um. 2072, you have it. 35, Through, uh, V pilot. Number 8, four golf trolley, better contact, 90 miles north to the blast if you want. Four golf trolley. 0-35-92, radar contact, southwest and blast, maintain call 360. Let's see, how do you do IDENT? Delta 1330, 5100, climb the other side. Delta 1330, radar contact, let maintain 14,000. Now we know for next time. Delta 1330. Delta 1330, when able, reset your transponder, squawk 2016. Okay. 
United 623, Pitarek, Valdosta, VOR, Oscar, Tango, Kilo. Clear to Oscar, Tango, Kilo, United 623. Alright, so we're with the Atlanta Center now, and hopefully later on, Jacksonville logs on. Skyway 1788, Clear Phillips. Derek Phillips, Skyway 1788. Atlanta Center, Southwest, set, uh, 467, with you flight level 320. Southwest, 467, Atlanta Center, good evening, squawk 2005. Squawk 2005, Southwest, 467. Tower 53, 54, Atlanta Center, good evening, radar contact, uh, about 10 east of Skywalker, maintain Gulf 260. Tower 53, Alright, there were two calling at once there. 27 Romeo Fox going to Atlanta Center, so again. Alright, uh, let's check it in at 330. Number 27, Romeo Foxtrot, Atlanta Center Roger. Southwest 467, radar contact, Southwest of Lynchburg, you send me the Chesley 4 arrival. Charlotte's landing south, I'll tell 3023, expect from 18 Center. We're going to expect 18 Center and we're cleared uh, to descend via the Chesley 4, Southwest 467. Southwest 467, Adis and Beth, our bike is grounded to Charlotte, don't get the Adis. We'll put you know Southwest 467. All right, winds in Jacksonville still showing 06010 from the east, so we can probably expect runway 8. 185 Atlanta Center, radar contact, let me take 14,000. Into Jacksonville. Let's pull up our approach plate. We're going to be doing the Looney 1. Crew 5, Charlie Juliet, the Birmingham Altimeter 3008. 3008. So Looney 1, ascent transition. So there's a couple al altitude restrictions here. We're going to expect ascent at flight level 280 and then after ascent it will be bent between flight level 260 and flight level 300 Atlanta Center, Speedbird Concord 1 Looney, let's see, landing if they give us runway 8 Speedbird Concord it's probably going to be a Looney at 8000 turn left and then from Looney heading 180 on track, heading 242 to cross Save between 6,000 and 7,000. Then 242 to cross Pence at 4,000 and at 210 knots. American I-1085, uh, you are clear. Then 232 to Rumi. That's Charlie Hotel, Oscar, Oscar Kilo. Then on heading 257, or is assigned by ATC. And then we can expect radar vectors to final approach. If I can pull up that chart, that plate here, so that you guys can take a look as well. South 794, Atlanta Center, good evening, radar contact, let me maintain 14,000. 14,000, South 794. Delta 1330, let me maintain 1360. Delta 1330, Delta 1330. Receptor on your fine shot, let me maintain 240. 240, step on your fine shot. Here's the approach plate for the Looney One arrival. So ascent, we're gonna expect flight level 280. Bent between flight level 260, flight level 300. Then Looney between 8,000 and 12,000 at 250 knots. Then if we they give us runway eight as we're expecting. From Ludi, track 242 to cross Savvy between 6,000 and 7,000. So that's here. And then from Savvy, it's going to be 242 to cross Pence. At 4,210 knots. Then 232 to Rumi. Then 257 or is assigned by ATC, and then expect to read our vectors to final approach course.
Six rear concrete, one heavy is eight miles from Purdy. Maintain three thousand to establish a localized good IOS from McNaughton Rock Bridge. Maintain three thousand until established on the. Or maintain three thousand until uh, we're safe on the point. Just maintain three thousand until established on the localizer. Clear out west from Manhattan Bridge. All right, we'll maintain three thousand until established on the localizer. Clear for the narrow left approach. As we work on one. We're five nine whiskey cross Buckhead to maintain eight thousand. Atlanta Tender three zero one six. Buckhead at 8,306, I'll let those know. You're set from your final track cross, we'll have that maintain 1-2,000 and 2-5-0-9, so I'll let them do 3-0-1-6. Expect from my 8 left. We'll be expecting 8 left, we're in cross gavin at the 1-2-0, and that 2 5 0 knots, and we will, we got Bravo for 2 seconds from your final track. Delta 22-42, reset transponder, squawk 2-0-3-5. 2-0-3-5, Delta 22 Southwest 794, come maintain felt 350. 350, Southwest 794. Spear Wings 1914, Jacksonville Center closed, change to advisor frequency for today. Let's see if we need to see a Spear Wings 914. We'll run to the bathroom real quick, guys, Center again. Slurs. I'll be right back. 189 Heavy is through 3000 for 10,000 is in the smokes, too. Southwest 5189 Heavy, Atlanta Center Radar contact, let me maintain 14,000. 14,000 slash 5189 heavy. I'm gonna set up Delta 1329, climbing through 7,000 for 10. Delta 1329, land center radar contact, let me maintain 14,000. 14,000, 1329. Sewer Conquer 1, heavy contact, Atlanta Tower, 19.1. Contact Tower 1, uh, 9.1. Uh, sorry about this, Sewer Conquer 1. Deborah 5354 to send me a SIF to arrive on line out temper 3016. Expect that to be a fresh time of rain. Send me a SIF to arrive on line out temper 3016. Number 5 whiskey to send now to Flutterbox 240 for traffic, then cross the market at 8000. Alright, uh, I'm just heading now to 240. Alright, I'm back. Delta 2242, got it, Memphis Center 133.65 today. 132.65, adios, Delta 2246. United 623, Jackson, with center close, change to advisory frequency, good night. Alright, we'll see you later, United 623. So about 49 minutes left into Jacksonville. My whiskey expect a visual approach from my seven at uh, Gwinnett County. All right, let's pick the visual seven coming, whiskey. That's five, my whiskey. Mid altitude, so maintain two three zero now. That's three zero now, bucket. Uh, bucket. Uh, bucket. So there's fifty one eighty nine. Have to come maintain up three three zero. Level 330 slash 5189 heavy. Delta 1329, reset transponder, squawk 0349. 234. 234, 34. 4 Golf Charlie, clear direct FA. Direct FA, 84 Golf Charlie. Scott with 1788 to send me the Phillips, excuse me, send me the Phillips 3 arrival, Charles Lennox Alright, direct FA. 0016. Expect room at 18 Center. I will expect 18 Center, 3016, and Delta 1788, and we'll descend via the Phillips to arrival. American 1985, contact Memphis Center, 133.65 today. The Memphis Center, thank you. Memphis Center. Number 325, Charlie Juliet, contact Memphis Center, 133.65 today. 
three three point six five. Thanks for being here, buddy. Yeah. Can't wait to get some food after we land. Expect from my eight right. I'll be uh, on the transition to a ground on Delta there. Uh, Roger, could you cross train nine line? Either you're gonna ask, you can expect nine line. Roger, expecting nine left, Delta eight head. The Lance Center Delta 1107, Delta 1107, the Lance Center, good evening, RNF, two lightest, and not a left, and Mike, you're clear for takeoff. Take off, nine left. Delta one nine seven, just three five first fix on F two lightest. On F lights. Thank you. Sky thirty forty two lands in right. So no sign of uh, Jacksonville Center yet. Really hoping they sign on. So we don't have to vector ourselves in. If we have to, we can do it. South 942, contact Memphis Center, 133.65. 3365, thanks for the help. Speed route 35, cross Ozzy at maintain 140,000. Atlanta, Al Tender is 30. Yeah, Atlanta Center road with them. Miami Center is on, but Jacksonville is missing. Our airplane, we're right here right now. Speed route 35, 92, can expect from a not right. Lance Center and Denver 5105. Denver 5105, Lance Center, go ahead. Lance Center and Denver 5105, ready to go uh, 8 left, Herschel, RNF. Denver 5105, RNF to Herschel, runway 8 right, take off. 8 right, correction, Denver 5105, RNF, Herschel, thanks. Delta 1330, Federic, ready, MBOR. Direct Meridian, Delta 1330. Skywalk 1788, have a good night. Uh, for Skywalk 1788, we're going to have to disconnect. Thanks a lot for the great service. Skywalk 1788, have a good night. Skywest 3042, to set a pilot's discretion, maintain focus 240. PD 240, Skywest 3042. Federal 1320, next to Blake, Got the level zero seven radar contact. Let me take one four thousand. Let me take one four thousand. Let's see. 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 Let's
Delta 2386, you're looking at airspace, watch the center close, change to your bathroom, you're pretty safe for a good day. 228, thanks, Shadow, bro. Uh, 2386. Braden Jack, what's going on, man? Sounds it looks amazing. How long until we land? It's going to be about four zero minutes. Just took a snooze in the comfortable chair in the back. Yep. Delta twenty one eighty five, direct Louisville, you are. Direct West Delta 1107, you can maintain for the 410. I'll maintain 410, Delta 1107. Never 5105, you can maintain for the 300. Maintain for the 300, never 5105. Delta A2, have your right, nine left. Delta A2, have your right, nine left. Delta A2, have your left, taxi via Mike, Mike 2. Mike, Mike 2, uh, nine left. Er, nine left to Mike, Mike 2, Did you fly over Richmond Delta earlier? I think we were just... Helen. Kilo Echo, Lima, west of Richmond. See K Rick. Direct Helen, Delta 167. Skyway 735, flight level 330. Skyway 735, land center, good evening. Can't even find it on Sarmat Pilot. There it is, yeah, we're a little bit west of K Rick. Um, yeah, about quite a bit. About 160 miles west of K Rick. Exchange approved at the Merit 6, yeah. Station 8 for Gulf Charlie Jackson will center close. Change to advisor frequency approved today. Frequency change approved, November 8 for Gulf Charlie. American. Delta 3221, request step away, two minutes. Approved, request advisory back. Alright, let's go back to advisory frequency. Jacksonville Center is not online. Just hoping they'd sign on before we got to them. But unfortunately not. So we might have to vector ourselves in to Jacksonville with no ATC. Still ways to go before our top of descent. There goes a sudden wind change, throwing us into the overspeed tape. That's the beeping you hear. So reducing throttles to get underneath that red line. There we go. Get dark.
<laughs> I guess we'll be landing in the dark, says Braden. Yep, I think so, man. We're not going to make it quite in time. Still beautiful up here, though. Not mad at all. Can't wait until you have this view in real life, Braden. Yeah, man. Best view in the world. You do any flying this week? Jacksonville Center, man. We're still at the very top of his airspace, so hopefully he signs on. Soon. Let's keep the speed up. Flying this Saturday in the morning, awesome man. Then work from 12 to 8, oof, that's rough. These are getting the flying done before work. <laughs> Working before flying, I've done that, and that's a. Uh, it's rough. I'd rather be falling asleep at work than in the airplane. that speed, reducing power, so we can find that sweet spot again, maybe around 94, 95% and one. What's the longest flight you've done in the sim, says Braden? Um, I know that the longest one that we've streamed, I think, was LAX to Heathrow. And I can't remember exactly how long that was exactly. I think it was 9 or 10 hours. Don't quote me on that. I can't remember if, if I've done any longer flights than that, like on my own, when I was younger. When I was real young, first getting into flight simulation, I was more interested in doing those long hauls. Not so much anymore. I can't remember if I've done anything longer than LAX to Heathrow as a kid. Hey, Captain Maddie, Captain Maddie's back. What's going on, man? Does anyone know how long can a iPad screen reporter can report can record a vid? No idea, Maddie. Captain Maddie says his longest sim flight was Singapore to Sydney, which was six hours and thirty-eight minutes. Cool, man. Braden says, my longest is Hong Kong to Anchorage.
Yeah, Braden, when we did um, LAX to Heathrow, I didn't sit at the computer the entire time. As a matter of fact, I think that day I went plane spotting at Miami International, like while we were in cruise. <laughs> we weren't flying on VATSIM or anything, I think it was just FS9 ATC. And we just kind of ignored them for the better part of our cruise. I want to say we departed early morning and then later on that afternoon I went out and did things and then came back. <laughs> Ten hours and sixteen minutes, seven eight seven eight. Sweet. Captain Matt says his was in an A three eighty. Awesome. I think fly by wire, the guys who modded the A three twenty for FS twenty twenty, I think they're working on an A three eighty as well. Which should be coming soon. Ish. Don't know an exact date, but I know they're working on it. Yeah, Brady says my favorite flights in the sim are the red eye flights, flying overnight, uh, landing sunrise. That is pretty cool. Jacksonville again. Alright, Jacksonville winds 070 at 7, 10 statue miles visibility, scattered clouds at 1, 2,000, broken at 2, flight level 250, temperature 20, dew 0.18, temperature 3016. So winds are still from the east, we can expect we'll use runway 8. We'll probably shoot the ILS for runway 8. We can start setting that up. So let's go to departure arrival page. We're doing the Looney One Ascent transition. We'll do the ILS runway eight. Good. After Rumi, we'll just vector ourselves in. Maybe we'll intercept that Dins.
So Kjax, ILS, runway 8. Yeah, Braden says, or taking off at 5 a.m. local time and flying east, so satisfying. Yep, I like those a lot. Flying in real life, I like to fly early morning. I like to be at the airplane while it's still dark. Pre-flight and watch that sunrise. Captain Matt says your longest sim flight was 10 hours and 39 minutes. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you looking that up for me. Or was that for Braden? Sounds about right, though. I think it's 9 or 10 hours, Ellie, to Heathrow. Braden says, I took off at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Hong Kong time and landed in Anchorage in the afternoon. I've landed in the dark many times before as well. Braden also said, I also flew Honolulu to Guam one time. Took off at 10 a.m. Honolulu time and landed in the afternoon in Guam. Braden says, that was for you. Thank you. Braden's longest was 10 hours and 15 minutes. Beat you, man. Beat you by almost a half hour. <laughs> No, that's good, Braden. Talk, man. I'm a quiet guy, so... It gets boring with me just sitting here, staring at the screen. Talk it up. Alright, getting closer to this top of descent. Still no sign of Jacksonville Center. bathroom one more time before we start our descent. I 
be right back. Braden says, yeah, pull up a movie or something to pass time when I'm not here, lol. <laughs> I wish, man. I wish we could pull up a movie without getting pulled on YouTube. I've thought about that. Maybe we could find some, like, indie movies that are royalty-free that won't get us pulled from YouTube. It's a good idea, though. Oh, did I just bump the throttle? No, we're good. All right, I got to go practice driving at night, so I'm sorry. I might miss a landing. Bye, have a good one. Thanks, Braden. Good to see you, man. Take care, brother. Enjoy your flight on Saturday, if I don't talk to you. Alright, about to hit that top of descent. Set flight level 260. Actually, I think we should cross ascent at flight level 280. So let's do that. Two eight zero. And we'll turn on our VNAV and let the airplane take us down. Cross ESET flight level 280, then bent at flight level 260, and then down to 8000 to cross Looney 250 knots. By right, reducing power.
those storms are getting close to Jacksonville. About five zero miles now to the southwest. Moving to the northeast. Definitely not going to make e at point level 280. Let's just continue down to 260 to cross Bents. Alright, descent checklist, pressurization is good, ice protection, we'll keep that on. Altimeters, we'll keep the same for now, lights, we're good. We're going to want to be at Looney at 8,000, so let's just keep it, keep going down. <coughs> Captain Matt says, how old are you, by the way? I will be 35 this in April. April 17th is my birthday. I'll be 35 years old. Captain Matty. Captain Matty says, I'm nearly 21. Turned 21 in May. Well, your birthday's right after mine, man. What day in May, if you don't mind me asking? I've got a couple family birthdays in May. Let's see if, if any are in the same day. Hey, hey, Juan Fernandez, what's up, man? Good to see you. We are descending now. We should be on the ground in about 20 minutes. We're going to shoot the ILS for runway 8 into Jacksonville.
actually I don't think we're gonna make Looney at eight thousand. Let's do let's do vert speed mode. Changing anything? There we go. Bird speed. Okay, so it's just intercepting the V path. Okay, we'll just let VNAP do it then. Yo, Rob, you made it, man. You missed the YYZ flight. We'll do some more, man. <laughs> what the F? It was a pretty sweet departure out of out of Toronto, too, man. You got to go back and watch it. We are descending now into Jacksonville. We should be on the ground in about 18 minutes. We did have ATC coming out of uh, Toronto. And then again over Atlanta and now Jacksonville Center is not online let me check again yeah they're not online so no ATC into Jacksonville so we're vectoring ourselves in for the ILS runway 8 approach which we're a little bit high right now but we'll see how it goes Weather's still showing VFR in Jacksonville, although there's storms nearby. I'm not sure what FS2020 weather is going to show. Probably something completely different from real life. But winds are 070 at 7, 10 statue mile visibility, scattered clouds at 12,000, broken at flight level 250. Should be VFR, but right now it does not look very nice outside our window. Already loaded the approach in here, right? Yeah, ILS 8, that's good. We're on 122.8 advisory frequency. Here's the plate for the ILS runway 8 at Jacksonville. So look like localizer frequency is going to be 110.7, approach course 077. We've got 10,000 feet of runway, touchdown elevation is going to be 29 feet. 
ATIS, of course, no ATC is online, so none of these frequencies really matter, but ATIS is on 125.85. Approach would be on 119.0, Jacksonville Tower 118.3, ground. Final approach fix is going to be DINs. Across DINs at 1,900. Minimums 229. Missed approach will be climb to 1,000, then climbing left turn to 3,000 and heading 250 on the Craig Vortac radial 290 to Mania intersection. Craig 29.2 DME radar and hold. Set our minimums to About to cross through flight level 180, Jacksonville altimeter is 3016. 3016. 3016 and 3016. I'm going to turn off the music for the rest of the approach. Sorry, I left that in your way. So we'll continue down the cross, Savvy at 6,000. All right, approach checklist landing data. Let's do that. Let's go to our perf page. Approach. Our winds are going to be zero seven zero at ten. Temperature two zero. Altimeter three zero one six. Approach speed is going to be 111 knots, VREF 104. We're going to hit send to send that information over to the PFD. All right, landing data is confirmed. Crew briefing, we already briefed the approach. We'll do our passenger brief soon. Minims are set, fuel transfer, we didn't use exterior lights. Go ahead and turn on our landing light now. And the pack signs. May I have your attention, please? At this time, please comply with the illuminated seat belt. No we'll keep on uh, anti ice a little bit longer. 
the rest of that stuff will do when we get lower. I have a really good feeling that the sim is not going to show VFR weather. Wait, is this thing still in your way? Sorry about that, guys. Alright, right turn now to Savvy, or Save. I think once we get over Pence, I'm going to use heading mode and kind of vector us out west a little bit, and then we'll make a left turn to intercept it. Either Dins or Libby. Alright, I can see the ground now, that's good. So Pence, we're going to be at want to be at uh, four thousand feet and two one zero knots. That's the airport right there, I believe. We're going to be landing on the opposite side of this runway, runway eight. So we're going to go out this way a little bit and then make a left turn into runway 8. Alright, we're looking good altitude-wise. We will cross Pence right at 4,000. Just gotta make sure we slow to 210 knots. Alright, approach, uh, flaps 15, we'll do that soon. Passenger briefing, seat, seat belts, pass lights, and landing lights on. Pressurization is good. All right, so let's move the heading bug to our current heading, 242. And after Pence, we'll go into heading mode and just head out this way a little bit further. And then we'll make a left turn and intercept at Libby. At 2000.
Alright, let's go heading mode. Alright, I'm make a radio call to the advisory frequency since ATC is not online. We are on 122.8. Jacksonville traffic, November 84, Golf Charlie. Citation 52510 miles north of the field, looking to join the ILS runway 8 approach, Jacksonville. All right, thousand to go to four thousand. We're crossing Pence four thousand two one zero knots. Slow it down, and we're going to continue on this heading for a little bit further. <laughs> You're not clear to join the ILS, must divert, divert to Miami. <laughs> okay. We might have enough fuel to do it. That's Jacksonville, that's runway 14. We're going to be using runway 8 going this way. Alright, flaps 15. Localizer is already alive. Alright, let's make our way down to 2,000. Let's use VS mode. If it lets me to turn off VNAV. Actually, be 1,900 over Dins. So let's go down to 1,900. Altitude. All right, 1,000 to go. Start making that left turn for Dins.
Now let's engage in approach mode. It should capture the localizer. Jacksonville traffic, November 8 for Golf Charlie, citation 525, eight miles to the west, joining the localizer runway 8, Jacksonville. <laughs> Forget about Jax. All right, let's drop the landing gear. Approach speed 111 knots. All right, before landing checklist, landing gear down, flaps to go, speed brakes are down, airspeed, autopilot disengage, and yaw damp. as we intercept here. We'll bring in the last of those flaps and then disengage the autopilot and yaw damp. Alright, here comes the localizer. There goes the airplane turning left to capture. There's the runway. All right, rest of those flaps are coming in. And we'll slow it down to about 111 knots. In Jacksonville traffic, November 84, Golf Charlie, citation 525, five mile final, runway eight, Jacksonville. Hey, Jax Tower. Okay, let's get let's get with him real quick. One eight point three. Too late though. One one eight point three. Jacksonville Tower, November eight four. Golf Charlie inbound ILS eight. Sorry, you were unreadable. What's that again for November 8 for Golf Charlie? November 8 for Golf Charlie, wind 0707, runway 8 for land. Clear to land, runway 8, November 8 for Golf Charlie. And your, uh, your microphone's all blown out. You're barely readable. All right, disengaging the autopilot, autopilot. and yaw damp. Turn off the flight director.
cool how the lightning lights up the ground like that. Minimums, minimums. Alright, we're landing. Speed's looking good. It's gonna keep the power right where it's at, all the way to touchdown. Or just before we'll pull it back. Alright, power's coming back. Alright, spoilers. I know that was for us, but I couldn't hear him. Say again for Forgolf Charlie. Uh, are you reading now? Still the same, it's really bad. Alright, we heard right turn. We're gonna make a right turn here off the next taxiway. We're parked at Signature, November 84 Golf Charlie. Alpha Fox Route to Signature, November 84 Golf Charlie. Golf straight into signature, November 8 4 Golf Charlie. Alright, yeah, we're right on golf. Okay, let's clean her up real quick. Flaps are coming up. See, let's go by the checklist. Alright, after landing, speed brakes. We can retract those. Flaps are up. Pedo static. Alpha to Foxtrot. Roger, Alpha, Foxtrot to Signature, November 84, Golf Charlie. Alright, speed brakes, flaps, pedostatic is off. We can turn off all of our icing. Radar is off. Exterior lights, taxi light on, strobe light off. That's it, after landing checklist complete. Alright, so left turn here on Alpha, and then right on Foxtrot, into Signature. Right, this should be Alpha. Horror movie ATC, take his license away. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to be next right on the Foxtrot and straight into Signature. Foxtrot.
some better airport lighting out here in the sim. Can't see shit. All right, this should be signature here. I'm just gonna pull straight in. And we'll shut down. All right, parking brake set. Have a good one. Thanks for your help today. November 84 Golf Charlie. It's still bad. Alright, well, what else? Climate control off. All of our lights. We can turn all those off. Avionics off. Oh, welcome to Jacksonville. <laughs> I know Rob wants to go to Miami. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me today. It was an awesome flight, Rob. You got to go back and watch the departure out of uh, out of Toronto. Got some pretty sweet views out our window. Guys, you guys take it easy. Um, what's today? Tuesday. I will most likely be streaming tomorrow night as well. So be on the lookout, Rob. Guys, take care. Have a good one. Peace.